Hello and welcome to Exit. I'm Kelsey Lee and guess what we're doing today? You have been asking, when are we doing thigh workouts? So that's gonna be today and we're actually gonna get started standing up. So stay where you are and here we go. It's gonna look like this. You got it? Lateral leg lifts, just bring it on out. Point that toe so you're elongating the leg. Don't keep it here, okay? Feel it right through here, outer part of your thigh. Good job. Keep it up, point the toe, little flexion in the calf. You got it. Nice and slow, good warm up. All right, and switch. You guys know what to do on this leg. And notice I don't have a giant range of motion, so I'm not trying to like, you know, do any of that nonsense. Just bring it up till you feel isolation right on the outside through here. Good work. And you'll notice on today's workout, these aren't explosive, crazy, dynamic, dynamic exercises because we're isolating specific groups, right? So we're not jumping around like crazy. So if you still need to get your workout on, loop it again or do one of our other videos. Woo, all right, nice work. All right, so good work on those. Next up, kind of the same position and little baby circles. If you ever remember us doing paint brushes with our arms, same thing here, just with our feet. Good work. You guys can put your hands wherever you want for balance. Good work, you feel the burn? Stabilizing leg's gonna burn too, because right now I'm like starting to feel it. Taught boot camp really early this morning, so my body's already like, can we take a break? All right, and call it good. Switch, same direction. There you go. Rotate that hip out just a little bit. And a lot of these exercises, you can kind of tweak for your own body and you'll feel more bang for your buck, so to speak, as you just kind of move things and shift things over. We're all built a little differently. Stabilizing leg is burning. Keep going. And call that good. Hey, let's just step it out really quick. You guys feel the burn through here? Getting those thighs, all right. Reverse your circles, Whew, like so. Point the toe a little, there you go. Soften that knee that you're standing on. Oh man, I'm feeling it. Hope you are too. Good posture, bring in the core. Oh man, I don't know where I'm feeling it more, here or here? What about you guys? I wanna hear from you, let me know. Whew, walk it out, walk it out. Same thing, bring it on through. There you go. Nice small circles. Good work. Little baby circles, keep going. Soften the knee. If you're having trouble stabilizing yourself, stare at one thing. There's a spot on the floor and I'm looking at it. It's keeping me from falling over. Good work. Nice, tighten the core. And oh man, call it good. Okay, next up we have alternating lunges. So we're gonna step it back, bring it in. Step it back, bring it in. Good to go. Jump on in. Remember, we're just dropping that back leg down, back knee. You don't need to touch the floor, just a couple inches off the ground. Propel with your calf coming back up. Feel it through the quads. Slow and steady, good work. Draw in the core. All right, let's do one more. Call it good. Whew. Nice job, let's go back and do some step ups. If you don't have these, kind of kill some squats and some lunges right now to get through the time here. If you do have something that you can utilize as a bench, even an ottoman, as long as it's heavy enough, it's gonna look like this, okay? Jump on in, we're going right leg up, right leg down. Right leg up, right leg down. You got it. Use your arms as you need to. We did these at boot camp this morning. We did these giant blocks at the park in front of my house. And so we grab a block and we do our step ups. Really pop it up. Okay, walk it out. 
Whew, little marching band. Okay, and switch. There you go. Left up, left down. You can add a little hop. If your shoe's untied, you better take a break and tie it. I only speak from experience. <laughs> you got it. Keep going. Extend all the way up. I want you to feel it in the top of your glute as you stand up. There you go. Good work. Use those calves, propel you up, and call it good. Whew. Nice job. All right, next up. All right, so now we're gonna go on the floor. Little different than our lateral leg lifts that we're used to. So instead of doing this, for the outer adductors, we're gonna bring it in like this. Make sense? Let me move my foot. This will work too. Okay, see what I'm doing here? I get more isolation if I do this though, so. Go ahead and rewind a little bit if you need to see that again. Point the toe. Notice I'm not coming back and hitting the ground. I'm bringing it all the way up, keeping it off the floor. Whew, good work. Point the toe. Good job. Little isometric movements, they're working. Might not look like much, but it sure is working. Keep going. Switch, switch, switch. Keep up the pace. There you go. Jump on in. If you need a glass of water or take a break, no big thing, just push pause and come on back. There you go. Feel that through the inside of your thighs. If you don't, mind the muscle connection. Kind of concentrate, focus on these muscles in here, shortening and contracting, and bringing that leg up. You got it. A few more of these, and we're moving on. Whew. All right, bring it on up. Okay, for this next one, it's gonna look a little silly, and they're called clamshells, but they're gonna work. So let's do this together. Down here, and all you're doing is opening up the leg here, so it's gonna shorten and contract. Think about these muscles here. Shortening, contracting, pulling the leg up, okay? Mind the muscle connection. There you go. Feel the outer adductors working. Fight that resistance on the way down, so don't just flop it down. Okay, so nice, slow, and controlled. Fight the resistance, bring it back up. Good work. Your heart rate should be up a little bit. Not a whole lot of explosive stuff today, so it's not gonna be crazy like some of our more CrossFit type routines. But you should still be feeling this. Good job. And so we're doing this video for you guys because we know that you were asking lots of questions about this. So please keep the questions coming. We love it. We love hearing from you. Small motion. You got it. Remember, shortening, contracting, bringing that leg up. Shortening, shortening. There you go. Whew. Nice work. Last one. Okay. Go ahead and bring it on up. All right. Nice work on those. Let's get our basketball over here. If you do not have a basketball, you can't dribble, but I bet you have a medicine ball or something. Use a pillow if you need to, and I'll show you what we're doing. So on your back, place that between your knees. Let me readjust here. Bridge raise. Okay, so yes, hamstrings, glutes, core. Bring that all up and squeeze, and then squeeze with your thighs, because that's what you guys wanted to see today. So bring it in. Feel the contraction right here. There you go. Jump on in if you haven't yet. Force the hips back. Squeeze the glutes. You got it, we're staying static. We're not going anywhere. Don't just hang out here though. You gotta squeeze. You got it? Force the hips up more if you start to sink. Remember, it's not about looking glamorous. This is about getting her done. You guys are doing good. Hips up, bring it up, bring it up. Three. Two, one, bring it down nice and slow. Whew. Very nice, we'll put that back there. Whew. All right, so we're done with those. And guess what, we're gonna do everything one more time. So I know you guys got this. Same thing as before, lateral leg lift. Throw your hands on your hips there. Good work. 
Notice we're not going through this super, super fast. We're being efficient, but you want to take it slow enough that you're actually feeling a burn while you're doing these exercises. Nice soft knee with that leg you're standing on. Don't lock it out. Good work. Remember, focus on one spot in your house, something, so you don't fall over and switch. You got it. If you do these in sets of five, five or so, take a little rest, walk it out, set of five, and so on, your strength and conditioning will grow. We gotta start somewhere. You know that, that saying, there's memes all over the internet. You don't have to be great to start, but you have to start to be great. So true. You gotta start somewhere. All right, a few more of these. Last one. Okay, circles, you remember how to do these. Little baby circles, there you go. Soften that leg that you're standing on. Whew. Elongate the leg, don't bend at the knee too much. There you go. Should burn. Doing great. Oh, it's burning over here. <laughs> keep it up, keep it up. Point the toe. Little circles, little circles. A few more. And then we're gonna switch, but I'm gonna walk it out for about four steps. One, two, three, four. Okay, do what you need to do. Same thing. Other way, there you go. Little baby circles. That was like little teapot style. Little baby circles. Don't worry, I will not break out in song. Don't you fear. <sighs> little circles, keep going. Don't just bring the leg up. We're not doing lateral lifts, we just did those. <sighs> A few more. And call it good. Okay, remember what's next? Same thing, but the other way. Let's do it. There you go. Put that weight through the heel. Don't stand your toe. You got it. Glute should burn a little bit. Ooh, you guys are awesome. Keep going. Soften that knee, don't walk it out. Don't walk it out. Again, remember intervals of five, that's fine. Take a break as you need to and just jump back in. It's not a race. Ooh, walk it out, other leg, here we go. Oh, doing good. And this time around, you know what we're doing, so put a little more oomph into it, okay? Mind a muscle connection. I know I say that a lot. Kind of like makes sense. I know you guys were bugging me about that on that last video. It's because I teach a lot of classes, so you gotta ask. If it makes sense, or if it doesn't, someone's gotta let me know so we can correct it. Makes sense? Just kidding, Whew, okay. Burning, all right, what's next? We have some alternating lunges from the side. Should look like this. You can do what you want with your arms. Okay, perfect. Move this way, step it back. Draw the core in. Doing good, doing good, doing good. If you wanted to get real brave and you have dumbbells nearby, you can just hold them. Whew. Working, working. Last one. Okay, next up, we have some step ups. Remember these? Here we go. Right up, right down, right up. Try to get a little hop. Force it all the way up. Good job. Make sure your shoelaces are tied. Whew. Good work, keep going, keep going. If you don't have a bench, do some squats, some lunges, just keep the heart rate up. Good work. Whew. Last one. Nice job, you gotta do the other leg though. Here we go. Whew. Good job. Bring it up, get a little jump. Good work. Use those calf muscles. They're stronger than you think. Nice and tight in the core. Whew. Little range of motion in the shoulders as you come up. 
Good work. Last one. Nice job. Okay. Back on the mat. Whew. Back on the mat, back on the mat. Hair in my face. I cut my bangs last night. Might not have been a good idea. Jump in, remember these? Whew. I don't recommend cutting your own bangs at home. So don't say I, I told you so if you do and ends up like that. Good work, good work, keep going. Whew, you're probably feeling it now more than the first cycle, huh? Whew, doing good, doing good, doing good. Couple more of these, Whew, and switch it over. Other side to keep the pace, jump in. Line of muscle connection, rest of your body is just stabilizing you in this position. The only muscle you should really feel working is through here, okay? Inside of the thigh. Shorten and contract, you got it. Point that toe a little more, a little more. You got it, you got it, keep going, keep going. Whew. A few more and then we're gonna be done with these. And you remember what's next, the clamshells. Whew. Call it good. Are you doing okay? I hope you are, let's keep it going. Okay, remember these. Slow controlled, fight the resistance on the way down a bit. Doing good. It's getting warm over here. Hope you guys are at least getting a little sweat on over there. If you bring the leg back a little as you open it up, you might feel more isolation right up here. Again, you kind of got to tweak things, figure out how your body responds the best. And last one, go ahead and switch it over. Nice job. Remember, pull the leg back just a little bit if you don't feel much. There you go. And working out is not a rocket science, but it is kind of an art. So you gotta be repetitive and consistent so you figure out what works best for you. It's a process. Oh man, we're working over here. Whew. A few more of these, and then we're gonna need that basketball again. All right, <sighs> how you doing? Nice job on those, let's move on. Grab your basketball. If you don't have a basketball, that's okay, just use a medicine ball instead. If you don't have a medicine ball, just do the bridge raise. You can still participate, okay? So remember how we did this? Right through here, pop it up, force the hips forward. Yes, yeah, at a diagonal, push them up. Squeeze through the legs. You got it. Feel through the glutes and the hamstrings. Interductors, squeeze, squeeze, squeeze. Stay in static, not going anywhere. Good job. Force the hips up, don't drop them down. Remember, it can be real effective or real pointless. You're the variable. A few more of these. Squeeze, squeeze, squeeze. Call it good, bring it down. All right, before we move on, Keep your ball. If you don't have one, seriously, go grab a pillow or something so you can participate with this. It serves a purpose. Come on over. We're gonna do wall sit. Whew. Right here. And squeeze it together, okay? Whew. All right. We're gonna hold this for 60 seconds. Don't go anywhere on me. Keep going. Push that lower lumbar back into the wall. You got it. You're just sitting in a chair, just waiting in line. You're doing good. Remember, squeeze here. We're hitting the thighs, introductors, okay? And yes, everything else is working too. Your hams, your quads, your glutes. And if you're thinking about it, your core, okay? You got a good posture. Sit up nice and straight like you were at the dinner table. Because I know we all sit up so straight at the dinner table. Good work. I'm slipping. If you're slipping, just scoot it back. You got it. Remember, super effective or super pointless. Squeeze, squeeze, squeeze. <sighs> These new shoes of mine are a little slippery. Starting to sink forward. <sighs> oh man. Hope that minute's up soon. Starting to feel a burn. Whew. Sit up nice and tall. Oh, <sighs> and call it good. Nice job. All right. Let's roll this baby out of here. Hey, guess what? 
You did an awesome thigh workout today. Thank you for requesting it. We'll keep that stuff coming for you guys. Make sure you subscribe here on Exit and make sure you're following me on Twitter or Facebook at KelseyLee.com. And also our newsletter, pretty fancy stuff coming your way just for you so no one else is gonna see it unless you subscribe. So get on it and I'll see you soon. Bye-bye.